This is Michael Smith of MedPage Today. I'm here at the Conference on Retroviruses and Opportunistic Infections with Dr. Timothy Thomas of the CDC. With colleagues, Dr. Thomas is working in uh, Kenya on the issue of mother-to-child transmission of HIV. Uh, Dr. Thomas, what is the, what's the current standard of care to prevent mother-to-child transmission in these resource-poor countries? Um, it, up until recently, uh, it has been uh, single-dose nivirapine, and uh, many countries still are using single-dose nivirapine. Some countries are, are moving to a, a shorter course uh, zidovidine uh, regimen started in uh, later pregnancy and then with nivirapine at birth. Now, in the trial that you're reporting here, you took a different approach. Can you describe that? Um, in our study that was done in uh, Kisumu in Kenya and that uh, is ongoing, uh, we were interested in looking at not only protecting uh, or preventing transmission during uh, late pregnancy and delivery, but also uh, during um, breastfeeding. And so we've been uh, where one-third to one-half of transmissions can occur during the breastfeeding period in areas where uh, women don't have the option of, uh, of not breastfeeding. What would be the rate of transmission uh, in, in this standard of care situation uh, when women are breastfeeding uh, and, and, and have no other, uh, other prophylaxis? Well, without, without any antiretrovirals, um, studies have shown transmission rates of around 25 to 48 percent. And in your study, you added, uh, you, you began essentially a highly active antiretroviral therapy late in pregnancy. Um, and carried it through for the first six months. Is that right? That's correct. We started at 34 weeks gestation, and uh, through pregnancy, through I mean, through the last part of pregnancy, through delivery, and then uh, six months postpartum. And women during that period were encouraged to breastfeed exclusively and then wean abruptly at the end of that period. That's correct. What did you find in terms of the transmission rate? Um, at uh, uh, at delivery, we. Um, and this is in a fairly large sample. We had about 497 infants that uh, we uh, had in the study at that time point. And uh, at delivery, our transmission rates were around 2.4%. Uh, and then at, uh, at uh, six months, our transmission rates uh, were uh, 5%. And then uh, we followed uh, the infants out uh, to 12 months, and transmission rates uh, at 12 months were 5.9%. So that's down by a factor of 10 from what you would ordinarily get in, in that population. That's correct. Uh, so that's a benefit. Is there uh, any kind of clinical message um, outside the, the resource-poor countries? Can, can physicians in the U.S. Or, or, or Europe learn anything from this study in terms of how they should care for, for mothers and, ch and, and their, their, un their infants? Um, I think still the best option for women who have uh, access to formula that's that's affordable, that's safe, uh, sustainable, and acceptable is that women should not be breastfeeding in that in in the context in that context. Um, perhaps what we've one lesson that could be taken is that you know we've we've shown that we've been able to get transmission rates fairly low to very fairly similar to what they are in uh, resource uh, rich countries around one percent. You know, even with uh, antiretrovirals started at 36, 34 weeks, that means about six weeks' worth of antiretrovirals to the mother, we had transmission rates around 2%. Whereas in the resource-rich countries, the antiretrovirals would be started much earlier. That's, that's right. I see. Um, well, interesting, uh, interesting work. This was a phase two study, a single-arm study. Um, is it, uh, are you going to carry on uh, and, and do a full randomized controlled trial, or, or what's the next step? Um, I think uh, there are other studies uh, taking place uh, that have even been presented here at this meeting looking at, uh, at uh, providing prophylaxis to the infant to try and prevent uh, transmission during breastfeeding. Um, and uh, there will be a study that's coming out later in this year that has randomized actually uh, uh, either to maternal heart or infant prophylaxis. So uh, our study is part of just the big sort of jigsaw puzzle of trying to uh, find some solutions to, to the, the problem of uh, transmission during a breastfeeding period 
in these resource limited settings. Fascinating work, uh, Dr. Thomas. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Michael Smith, MedPage Today.